Good evening. I hope everybody's having a good evening. I hope God is blessing this evening. You know, something's been on my heart, my mind a lot lately is that it seems like a lot of Christians today are just discouraged and want to quit or that they quit. You know, it's the discouragement that you're feeling is of Satan. Satan's trying to get you to quit. Satan is trying to get you to quit spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, it's I hear a lot of people say, well, man has said this, man has hurt my feelings about that. And, you know, brothers and sisters, I'm going to tell you something. If I quit every time that someone says something bad about me, then I'd have quit a long time ago. You know, I've had a lot of friends come against me. I've had people I thought were my friends come against me. I've had people say that I'm not qualified to do this. I'm not qualified to do that. And, and you know, that I'm going to tell you something. I'm not qualified to do anything. But through God, I can do all things. When God opens my mouth and speaks through me, then I can do mighty works for him or if just a hug or a smile sometimes. But, you know, we need to quit listening to man. We have to realize that uh, Satan uses your brothers and sisters and the Lord a lot of times to turn against you. And they might not even know that they're doing it. But, you know, it's don't worry about what others are saying about you. Worry about what God thinks about you. You know, it's it's funny is that I've been, all my life, Satan has been trying to silence me. Even when I was a little bitty boy, about between a year and two years old, I fell on a glass baby bottle and cut my lip wide open. And it wasn't sold up right. I mean, cut it completely in two right down through here. It wasn't sold up right. And the muscles on my left side of my face was not, I couldn't use properly, so I couldn't speak plainly. You see, Satan attacked a little kid, trying to keep him from one day spreading the gospel. You know, but by the grace of God and God's mercy and love and my mom and dad's dedication and love for me, you know, I went through a couple of plastic surgeries and, and speech therapy and stuff so I could speak, at least so people could understand me. And, you know, I went through a lot of years of my life lost and did a lot of things I shouldn't have done. Being in car wrecks, I probably, probably, it's just by the grace of God that I got through. I've been on airplanes at the engines have quit and various other stuff. I've, I've had knives pulled on me and all kinds of stuff, and God has protected me. But you see, all this time Satan was trying to kill me, trying to get me, because he knew that one day that I, I would say something to someone, baby, that would help him along life's way. You know, even when I got saved, I mean, Satan been after me. You know, my, my oldest son took was, was beaten viciously one time, and his face all swollen up and had to have surgery on his, on his face, a broken jaw or what, jaw bone or whatever, and cheekbone, and he's got tungsten in his in his face now. But uh, you know, that evening. I never forget. I was sitting there on, on the couch beside my son. Him in the recliner. His face was all swollen up, and he was in pain. And and you know, I, I was doing work for God with young people at the time, and God was blessing the ministry. And and I told God, I said, God, I quit. God, I quit. I'm not going to do this anymore. God, if this, is, if this is a way that, that I'm rewarded, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm through, God. And God came to me and said, how about my son? How about my son? At least you can recognize your son. My son was innocent, completely innocent. My son that his own mother couldn't recognize was beaten so badly. My son died for you. So are you really going to quit? And God told me, he said, if you will continue on, anytime that you want to stop on Satan for what he did to your son, I'll let you do it. And I was, for a while, I was stomping on Satan all the time, telling everybody about Jesus, spreading the gospel, doing a lot of ministry work and stuff. And then uh, 
I guess the devil rose up against me again. And I decided to quit again. And God said, you can't quit. You got to keep going. And you know, about a couple of years ago, things went wrong in my life in a lot of ways. And I said, God, I just, I can't do it anymore. I didn't even want to go to church anymore because what people said about me and some things. And, and my wife, Diane, it comes church time. I said, I'm not going. She said, you got to go. We got to go. I said, why? Nobody else goes. She said, it ain't about nobody else, it's about us. we got to go to church. Well, that's where we're supposed to be. And I'd go, and you know, after a while, God, when I'd finally get in the church house, God would bless me so good. All of a sudden, I'd have tears in my eyes. I'd be crying, and I'd be praising God. And you know something? She was right. I had to go. You know, maybe you quit church, but you need to go. If you go and... Uh, Go looking for a blessing from God. God will bless you. You know, don't be discouraged. It's Satan trying to get you discouraged. God is wanting you to come back today. God is wanting to use you again. Brothers and sisters, I'm in a stomping mood. I'm ready to stomp on Satan's face some more. I'm ready to stomp on him and, and lead people to Jesus Christ or, or whatever God wants me to do, you know. Satan is coming against me and Diane right now financially in other ways, but that's okay because I'm in a stomping mood. I'm tired of Satan attacking me and my wife and my family. And God told me, he said, whenever you want to stop him, go. Ahead, I'm going to let you stop him. How about you? Are you in a stomping mood? If you are, begin to stop on Satan for what he's put you through lately. Let him know that you're still a child of God. Let him know that the master is still in control. Let him know that you ain't afraid of him no more. That you ain't listening to his garbage no more. Whatever man says about you, whatever, it don't matter. It's what God is going to use you for. It's what you need to do. I'm telling you this, this evening on the authority of God's word that God wants you back and God's got a plan for you. But oh, I'm going to tell you something. We need to be doing some stopping this morning, tonight. Time to stop on Satan's face. All way you can do is get back with God. Quit letting Satan attack you, getting you discouraged. It's time for God's children to rise back up. It's time for God's children to be in the church house, <coughs> being blessed. It's time for God's children to quit feeling sorry for themselves because Jesus Christ died and took all of our sins on the cross of Calvary so that we could go free and that we could do some stopping. He said he put all things on our feet. Brothers and sisters, be brave, be courageous. Get your eyes back on Jesus and get to stopping to quit worrying about what man is saying about you. Satan's trying to get you down. He ain't going to get us down. Because I'm going to tell you something. He had us, but he couldn't keep us. He's had us, and he couldn't keep us. He may think he's got you now, but he ain't going to keep you. Because God's going to send deliverance to you today. God's going to break whatever bond chains got you held right now. God's going to take care of your problem right now. God is going to let go. God's just waiting for you, brother and sister. Say, Lord, set me free. I'm ready to stop again. May God bless you. May God watch over and protect you. I'm thankful that I serve a Savior that I can feel. I'm thankful that I serve a Savior that watches over and protects me. Even when I'm at my lows, He's at His highs. Praise be to God. Christians, don't be discouraged. Don't quit. You can't quit. we got to push on. Push on down the road, brothers and sisters. God has mighty works for you to do. Satan's afraid of you. That's why he's got you discouraged. Get your eyes back on Jesus and start serving God. May God bless you and watch over and protect us all. I'll pray for you and please remember me in your prayers. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.